Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. We're taking our devotions from Brenda Kuhneman's book called The Daily Prophecy. And our devotion today is entitled, Come Up Higher. Let's hear what our prophetic word is. Excuse my hiccups. I call you to come even closer to me, says the Spirit, for there is always a higher place for you to ascend, a place where you can experience greater things in the supernatural and greater revelation directly from my throne. So never stop pressing to come up higher. Oh, I love it. Our scripture comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 4, verse 1. Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. God is so good. He desires that relationship with us. He doesn't want to wait until we go to heaven to interact with us. He wants to do that now, and he wants us to come higher. He wants us. He wants us to press in deeper. There's always a greater place of intimacy, greater intimacy with the Lord that we can aspire to. So that's my prayer. I'm, I'm like, Lord, take me deeper. Give me greater understanding, greater wisdom, greater intimacy with you. When you're in that place, there's, there's no fear. There's no reservation. There's no stress, anxiety worry there's none of that none of that is there when we press into him why wouldn't we want to go there <laughs> you know why wouldn't we want to have that deeper intimacy with him it's more confidence oh so awesome let's hear how brenda expounds on this no matter how much we grow in the things of the spirit there is always more to learn it's astounding to think that even after the Apostle John had encountered Jesus so powerfully in the first chapter of Revelation, there was more to come. The Spirit told him to come up to yet another level. There is always another place, another dimension with the Holy Spirit. I am certainly not saying that every Christian is expected to have an Apostle John experience. However, I do know that there are always supernatural realms with God that we have yet to know. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to press in for these realms. While we don't want to get unbiblical and goofy in our quest, we also don't want to get complacent as though there is nothing left to encounter. Sometimes we have become too familiar with it, as if it is somehow old news. Let's just reflect for a couple of seconds. Ask yourself, or maybe you're already saying it. Have you ever felt like this is it? This is all there is to Christianity? Dull, boring, nothing new to experience? That's a lie. There's always a new realm, a deeper level in which we can go. If you're at a place where you're feeling like, I, I need more, something's missing, you probably are at a place where you need to grow to the next level. And believe me, God is there in every bit of it. The devil wants to keep you immature. And, and even the Bible talks about progressing mature-wise in your maturity. Just as we physically mature, going from an infant where we can't do anything for ourselves to toddler, adolescent, and as we grow physically, we know we increase in wisdom, we go to uh, greater knowledge, you know, you see how that works. It's the exact same in the spirit. It can happen faster in the spirit, but it's the exact same in the spirit. 18-year-old you was a different you when you turned 21. Think about that, okay? Imagine that you're an 18-year-old in the spirit and God wants you to ascend to a higher place to have the wisdom. Or even when I look at what I, the knowledge and the wisdom and experience I've gained 
as a mother and now a grandmother and just the person I am in my life right now, and I look at who I was at 21, I was a baby and I thought I was all there. I thought I had learned everything. You know, there's that place where we think, you know, I've got it all. We don't, and we don't want to get to that place in the spirit either. God wants us to press in for greater heights in him. As we pray and press into God, we need to ask him to show us how to go deeper in supernatural things. Remember, the scriptures have called us, his believers, to do greater things than Jesus did. Just make a list of the things you saw Jesus do or you read about Jesus doing. We're supposed to be doing greater than that. Are you? Am I? If you're not, you're not ascending to a greater place. We're not quite there and we need to press in is the point I'm trying to make there. Honestly, until we have the results we saw in the ministry of Jesus and the early apostles, we still have a long way to go. And that's just what I was saying. We have a long way to go. We're not opening blinded eyes. Maybe you are. You're blessed if you are. We're not raising the dead. We need to go deeper. And God wants us to because that draws people to him when that happens. It's not for us to be glorified. It's for God to be glorified. So make it a quest today to press in for God's power and choose to come up higher. Let's pray the prayer today. Lord, teach me how to continually grow in my experiences with you in the things of the Spirit. Help me not to become complacent with your power and always press in for more. Lord, I am coming up higher today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. It is August the 31st, the very last day of the month. Tomorrow begins September. And I hope you have a blessed day and decide to like and subscribe. Bye until next time.